Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, I don't have any of the fucking console stuff set up anymore. Do you have to have a PS5 for anything? <laughs> I feel like I haven't heard of any PS5 releases. <laughs> Demon Souls? Ah, yeah, yeah. Gotta have. <laughs> Wizard Angel, 13 months. Elden Ring. No, Elden Ring isn't going to be PS5. I just Googled it. Oh, I guess you will have to have one if you want to play it on PlayStation, but it's coming to everything. And PS4. It's a weird world with consoles. Like, everyone's making such a big deal about PS5s, but, like... Yeah, weird. They had good graphics for it. I mean, whatever. I don't play any of that shit anyway. Gross. I'm not doing this. I lied. Alright, maybe I'll fucking die with it. Oh wait, it's Lilith. Thought it was the other one. I might play Elden Ring, just cause. Oh, I uh, I'm warming up. Well, that's the, w the weird part was I just saw that Elden Ring was released for PS4. I wasn't debating the consoles. Like, I'm a, like I grew up on consoles. I stand behind them. I think they make sense for a lot of folks. They have far less issues than PC. And they're a lot simpler to do the thing you want to do. Though I will say the updates nowadays are fucking infuriating. <coughs> Every time you want to use it. Everything has to update. I hope that my computer finally dies that I can... Stuff will be available again. Gross. Taking a dive, yeah, that just means it'll rebound while when prices are low. And everyone will brag again about how much money they fucking made. Dude, my dude who owns the fucking vape shop <coughs> that I've talked about watches me on Twitch, so I shop at his local vape shop. He got so rich off crypto and NFTs, he just moved to fucking somewhere in South America. It's like, oh, well, shit. 
should have bought my shit online. The wonders of spaghetti? What? Uh, no. There's no way it'll be right there, but a man can dream. The drug lords really live different than other people? Other rich people? Is it really a special lifestyle? I mean, if you eliminate the drug part, right? It seems pretty similar. So twenty cakes. Thank you for the tier three and the eighty-one months. Hardcore. Thank you for the forty-three months. I mean, it's pretty standard here, Kath. Person gets rich and takes their money elsewhere. That's the American dream. Oh, dude, it's, like, real popular now, Cap. There's, like, whole giant white suburbias built all over s Mexico and South America. Gated communities for rich people to go hide and avoid paying taxes. And you don't have to be as rich as, like, going to Dubai. That's why they're gated, com their whole community is unknown. And like, people live there every day, you all realize. <laughs> Killing me, Smalls. Huh, that didn't fuck Devil Deal. Did they change that? No, it's a little bit of both Gertie. I'm dead. It's a little bit of both Gertie and. Oops, I don't want to play this character again. My own knockback. Do some cool stuff soon. Yeah, dude, I don't know, man. Like, everybody's been telling me about games that are, like, decent, okay. And I'm just like, eh. I don't know. I'm just not in the mood for another blank that's decent. I'm also just not in, in a, a mood <laughs> for much, so I might as well just play what the fuck ever. <laughs> I'm 
back to RuneScape, best choice you've ever made. Those are some words, man. I'm happy for you. I don't want this. What I want is a key. What's this? That's the power of love. Any Pokemon supposed to release? I don't doubt it. It's not a really high bar, though. I could step over that bar. Yeah, the we built the zoo or whatever. It looks kind of cute. Still getting updated. Or last I just read it before I went live here, I was reading the update. You farting piece of shit. Bailing for the 64 months. Thoughts of the state of Tarkov? I don't know. I haven't looked at it. Dr. Tortling with the 20 months. Appreciated. Codenames? Yeah, codenames is fun. Unfortunately, it requires at least three other people. What the fuck? Lame. It's like a one in thirty odds, Kath. That's bad. That's bad math. Has great music. Uh, probably the best track besides Cathedral. I took red heart damage. I wasn't paying any attention. Who cares? Devil deals aren't needed. Angel rooms? Who needs them? Coward? No, it's just smart. It's nothing to do with being cowardly. I'd rather have that three cents to maybe buy a key or a bomb that I'll inevitably need, because you just will. Is capital and abuse? Maybe it's chest. Whichever one has like the rock and roll is all right. When you have a rock in your head, that's true. Just smash your head into it. I'm getting my daughters sick now. Which sucks.
psychic. I'm fishing the other night, didn't get to catch any hogs. I never get any hogs on. Feels bad. You can have my hog if you want. I got my bait harvesting to 100% and then quit. I was super proud of it. New map just too expensive? Uh, the boat was expensive, but I think it was probably fine. I just needed to stop. Land of Warding with the 47 months. No, I didn't have anyone spoil endings. <coughs> or Google it, I don't want to know. I forgot about that game. Is Black Desert, wasn't it on Steam? I feel like I never see any of my friends log on it. Maybe it's just dead. <laughs> Possible. Do you raid? Oh, is there a launcher as well? Yeah, so I, like I said, I saw. I used to see a ton of dual log on it. That's the only reason I've noticed. And like, just recently, haven't seen like anyone. I leave my friend notifications on all the time. I don't know why. So my however many Steam friends that are mostly you guys, I get spammed with that shit all night while I'm streaming. I've watched a bit of Final Fantasy 14, I don't know. I don't ever know what the fuck I'm watching.
Hasn't WoW been doing a lot more of the story too, though? I mean, if you say WoW died, then you think MMOs are dead, because it still has. I do think MMOs are desperately in need of something to revitalize them. If losing 50% of its players is still better than, like, every MMO, ex except FF14. That's my point, yeah. That still puts it in second. Last I looked at EverQuest, it wasn't that high. We have a diehard EverQuest guy in here, too, who's always talking about it. I know, right, Blaze? It gross. I figured if I'm gonna like be bored at work, I might as well be bored at work and try to make money, you know? Can't, can't fault the guy. Aiden, I missed your 15 months. Sorry. Thank you very much. Cheers. Do Wordle on stream? I already did my Wordle. It's like the first thing I do when I wake up, usually. longer I've been away from MMOs, which, I mean, I guess I played that one sponsored MMO. I don't even know what that is. Uh, anyway, I played that one sponsored MMO that never nobody believed I liked, and then Grizz and I played that for a few months. But other than that, I haven't played since, like, shortly after Lich King. But yeah, the longer I'm away from MMOs, the less I have any fond memories of the gameplay. It's it's a hundred percent a non-existent lifestyle from MMOs that I miss. But like that, I, that there's nothing from the gameplay that I'm like excited about. Yeah, Albion. That's the one.
I remember hearing what the fuck is glass eye? I remember hearing it was the WoW killer every year to the Bell Lord. Well my friends. We were tired of WoW. Turns out the real WoW killer was WoW. Like as, as much as I want to give shit to Blizzard and WoW as bad as it is, like it turns out the real killer of World of Warcraft was 15 fucking years, and it's still got a million subscribers or some shit, so, like, still makes millions a month. It's dead. Yeah, sure. Like, uh, there's no doubt about the decline, but the reality is, like, MMOs have just died on their own. Like, or specifically, WoW has just died on its own. It goes up and down, and I guarantee you, WoW will reach three million players again. Mark my words. When's their next update release? I got 45-year-old friends that fucking buy every update and play for two months. Yeah, everyone will forget. Just like they do with it all. And there won't be an MMO to... <laughs> Again, they won't... <laughs> they'll, s they'll still be convinced that there isn't an MMO to satisfy their WoW needs. That That's the real case. Th they convince themselves they need a WoW in their life. Crap, I think we're 250 bits. <laughs> no, it, it doesn't. I mean, it'll never be dead. It's certainly never going to be what it was again, but it's fucking 20 years old. No game ever has. Wouldn't name anything that has. Like the only thing, the only thing that has managed to grow that long is like professional sports. And that's just like population growth. <laughs> People fucking die and are born every day to keep that shit going. But even like the oldest sports fans I know are more passionate sports fans when their, their team is winning. The dude who watches 180 baseball games this season is because his team is doing well. See, if I, I would say EverQuest is borderline dead, because it hasn't had a resurgence. They had like a tiny one for a very brief time when they went free to play. But that's a ghost ship. I bet the number of people that work on EverQuest now is itty bitty. If not, it's subcontracted out to, like, Romania. So that they can afford an actual staff. I mean, it'll be interesting to see, right? Microsoft wants to do with it. It's... It'll certainly be, I'm going to grab my water in a second, it's thawing. And then WoW Classic, yeah. 
Oh yeah, WoW Classic was always... I mean, and not just WoW Classic, everything. Everything is just an attempt to... Pokemon release today. And everything is just an attempt to prey on our nostalgia. I'm streaming Isaac. Give me your money. Just add Glippy to it? Dude, they should. I'd go back for Clippy Boss. Oh, it isn't. I mean, I don't know. It's fine. Recursion, thank you for the one year. I will say the indie, the indie scene has felt something I actually care about. The indie scene has felt very fucking dead to me. Just nothing that interests me. I really thought the vampire game was uh, gonna be cool, but it just wasn't. And I'm not sure why everyone said it was. <laughs> that one just confuses me. What was that game I used to play? Uh, why is there like a blue gap between these rocks? Weird. There's just a. Someone him back seeing that game? Eh. That's funny. I just like didn't get it at all. It was challenging for like an hour and then you unlock some stuff. <laughs> and then you just stand around for 20, 30 minutes, depending on how good your build is, you just stand around until you win. That's the fucking game. Like, this is legitimately nothing else going on. Like, running around and pretending you're dodging and shit is all fun in games, but it's fake. Oh, I ran into that. What? Oh, oh. No way. Those fucking tears caught the eye. people like cookie Clippy. yeah like so what i mean by it's fake is if you if you get into a position where you can't kill all the enemies around you you're too weak so like you can try to run and hope the next wave there were a few ex exceptions where like the next wave was surprisingly weaker um but the reality was like either you could fight it and survive or you're gonna die that was the case every single time. 
Um, there was an argument to move like slightly left and right in order to like thin the groupings, but <laughs> the whole game is just staying there for 30 minutes. I thought that running around was helping me and doing things, but like, it wasn't. It, it's 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 fake. It's fake gameplay. random you in the time base you in well that's still early access so that should change <clears throat> sorry i'm like just getting sick just now catching whatever alice had all week and it sucks luckily it's not gonna be like put me down or anything it's just sore throat and stuffy nose hopefully is what she had all week so It's a very strange win to me. A lot, a lot of hype on it. Which I think just shows there hasn't been an interesting roguelike in quite some time. Hammerwatch had strategy too. Because you got to consider your poles and your movement affected aggro and things like that. Like there was actually your attacks affected aggro. There's a strategy to that. Attributed it. No, it's not just NL. I, I think that's <coughs> just because you follow the group of NL folks. But I have a whole bunch of streamers from my past that none of you ever talk about that. I saw like Ella Jazz had like 7,000 people today while playing it. And he's like a Dark Souls guy. Did I feel the price went enough? I think that's just a, a dumb argument. Like cool. That it wasn't overpriced for what I guess, but that that's been gaming for me lately. Like everyone's like, check out blank, it's not bad, and I'm like, that's that's the selling point. Is it's not bad? There's a decent. My summer car clone. Try that, Richard. Why? I guess I'm just shitty. It's me. Basis. Thanks for the 75 months. Not bad as this. It feels like it right now. We'll see. But maybe it's just because we're all getting old. Maybe there's new exciting things for young folks. You've been old. I was new to all this. So many of these games, so many games are new to me when I started streaming, which I think helped a ton. 
I had played like a dozen games when I started streaming. That's an exaggeration, or a, whatever a reverse exaggeration is. An exaggeration in the negative. Just play Dota with Jurassic. I've been playing League, Blaze. Play League with me. I had to stop playing League because my fucking little brother hasn't played ranked with me in so long. I'm about to, I'm about to outrank him. Won't be able to duel anymore. I, I never removed you from Steam. I see you play shit all the time. Asset. Arch me, maybe for 48 months. I won't play Smite. I don't have any interest in learning a new MOBA. It's like the MMO debate earlier. I, I think you're all just, you know, you have your favorite, and that's that. There's no point in debating which one's better. play League because it gives me a game to play with my little brother. And I enjoy MOBAs. It solves all of my needs. I, thought you, I wouldn't unfriend you. No. Not over getting hacked. That'd be rude. Search. Blaze. Alright, you're not on my friends list, though. Maybe you removed me when you got hacked? Weird. I don't even know how to block anyone on Steam. games, oh god. Gag living with the seven months. I might try Elden Ring just cause. I like Soulsy games for a minute. They're never like my favorite thing in the planet, but you know, something to pass the time. I assumed it was going to be a PlayStation exclusive, though. So that's tight that it's not. Weren't the last two Souls E games? Bloodborne was for sure. Or was it just Bloodborne? Can we stop pretending like Demon Souls is a new release? I don't give a fuck if you has been remastered. It's ancient. It looks pretty now, though. I mean, it's still ancient. That's like older than my stream, isn't it? Come PC, it's already on PC.
A spry 56. What time is it? Oh, it's already 2. I gotta go fishing. Don't let me forget. I made plans to go fishing this morning. It's fucking like 3 degrees outside. But I gotta go fishing. I just gotta do it. You, I was blocked on your end, I figured. I think it's because I like addressed the fact, that, oh my god, I'm gonna die here, the spike sudden life under my feet. I think it's because I like addressed the hacker in the room and was like, hey, you hacked Blaze it, so then they ban you, they block you. He's onto us, block him. Brisk seven. Yeah, last I looked it was one. Let's see. What is it now? Three. We're supposed to go fishing at like five. It'll be nine. That's chilly. I was hoping for health. Bert, thank you for the 56 months. I got your back, please. I have to deal with lots of old people who don't understand technology, so I frequently have to inform people they've been hacked. Don't worry, I got you covered, please. Discord? I had somebody somebody pretending to be blazed on Discord. We playing ranked on Dota Blaze It? You ain't got any time to play Dota with me. Go fuck off. Go fuck off. Get me excited about that. I thought you did do a Dota. Coward. I swear I've seen you boot up Dota. <laughs> For the first time in my life today, I watched some fucking uh, pro play. LCS. I never watched that shit. It was mildly entertaining. I fell asleep watching it, so it wasn't like the most exciting thing ever. But, uh, you know, I did that. I'm a gamer now. It's good sleeping sounds. There was this woman on there, and she had a yell that was just epic. I loved it. Chad, of course, hated her. But uh, 
I loved it. It was a very good yell. They stole nothing from your account? Just your friends? I thought the casting was decent. Like I said, never, I've legitimately never watched any pro Dota or League. So, uh, I was impressed. It was pretty good. I even like their dumb, cute, zoom-in slow-mos. It was like, man, this is eSports, huh? Who knew? Who knew? I'm so out of touch with what I do for a living, and I love it. Fan roll! Thank you for the 81 ones. Who's the caster? Tigress or something, I think they kept saying. I don't know her. Uh, sexuality. I'm sorry. Didn't ask. Didn't think it was relevant. All I know is chat hated her and uh, was really upset it wasn't like Captain Kittens or something. I don't remember what his name was. Yeah, flowers. Good job, chat. Got my back. Oh. Long time since I've done a heart fight where masks spawn. Whatever those things are called. Old Eudis's shadow, huh? Did they fix change the specs so you can take these again? What's that thing? Oh, is that the two little? I oh, look cool now. We're not gonna live, but we look cool. way you said that reminded me of like my parents in the 90s kef <laughs> thank you at a uh, Sorry, I find it very funny that I had, like, n genuinely not watched any competitive league. And, like, how I want to talk about how <laughs> how normal it was, right? Like, how it was exactly what I expected. Uh, and I'm like, dude, everyone's league's, like, 15 years old, Richard. Everyone's seen it. You're alone here. Welcome to 2022. <laughs>
You went to international in person. Wow. Yeah, I've never cared for watching people play things. It's like, I'm like, that's dumb. Why would anyone do that shit? Just play yourself. Huh, guess I'll die. Been in friends watch. I was just surprised to see how much it reminded me of Halo 2. Um. Oh, I stood right on that. In the days that I used to play competitive Halo 2. already got conjoined. I didn't need Steven. It's not fair. I can't see. Alright. This is just rude and unfair. How am I supposed to dodge when I can't see? It's so dark in here. Oh, <gasps> you're still alive? Who knew? What's that, Pal Lord? I've seen a million people say up or mention it, but I have no idea what it is. Something real cool. Fighting game tournament. Uh... <laughs> huh. I'm thinking about how that's probably interesting. That wasn't the item I thought it was. card does, so I just won't use it. Oh, I can't see! Suppress it, fire! Salty bet? That channel's still going, huh? No, I know what regular chariot does. I don't know what this chariot does. Oh, a statue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, I think. It turns you into a turret. Yeah, I think Salty bet's older than me, too. Like uh, my stream, not my actual human body. That thing's old as shit. I don't think this drops an item. Yeah, no. I don't want to die. 
Oh, that's just... Yeah, I don't want to die. <laughs> I'm still a turret. I won. Have a winner. Still got it. Don't count that death in there. Paradactyling for the 82 months. It has a league spin off Salty Teemo. Gross. I don't like the name Salty Teemo. That's a long time, Para. How you doing? Oskathane, are you here? I'm going to yell at you. Where are you? He's just regular Teemo, but he's a little sweaty. Busy. Good, I think. That's usually good. I fucking got all tired after I ate a bunch of pizza, so then I laid down and took a nap, and now I'm just dying. <clears throat> Getting old, man. Heartburn. Very important. Dick, very important. All right, Lacker. I did see the Batman Calzone, yeah. Is that it? Is that it? They had the exact same pizza like a month ago, Lacker. And it wasn't called the Batman Calzone. It was called, like, Foldy McFolderson. <laughs> Somebody must have told him, like, yo, that kind of looks like a Batman logo. And so then they rebranded it all Batman. Their whole app. I opened their app today, and bats were flying all over. I'm like, it's not Halloween. What the fuck are you doing, you stupid app? You're confused? You need to update? And I closed it. <laughs> And then I reopened it. Bats in a mansion pop up. I'm like, what the fuck is going on with the app? And then it popped up Batman. And I was like, oh. I see. That's the worst thing they have, Bellwork. Well, their cheesy bread is tight. Their regular bread sucks. The regular bread sticks. Crazy bread's garbage. It's just not good. It's like you you probably like going to fucking what's the Italian place that's not Italian that has free breadsticks? Olive Garden? You probably like the unlimited breadsticks at Olive Garden. Those fucking things suck too. Oh fuck, exactly. I knew you'd like that trash. I like salty bread. It's delicious. I like Little Caesar's Pizza. I just think their crazy bread is garbage. It's just salty white bread. <laughs> no, it's, it's got to be extra salty on. Salted. Oh, fuck off, Blaze It. Rumor on the street is Australia is <clears throat> not far behind America at the moment. You're not going to have much room to talk real soon. You're going to have your own Trump and everything.
Well, they can't be. They can't compete for fatness. It's like nine thousand degrees there. They live in a goddamn sauna, dude. When you spend all day sweating, there's no way they're gonna compete. Their entire population lives in a sauna. <coughs> Tell that to Florida. It's not nearly as hot as Australia. What's the temp today, Blaze it? Also, they have far less air conditioning. Which sucks to be them. Lacker, how many homes in Florida have you looked at without air conditioning? Zero. That's right. Blaze it, how many homes have you lived in in Australia without air conditioning? I'm not poor, got him. Fucking poor people. Well, you're very, you know that you're, you, see, so you gotta do this. We could have like a genuine, genuine conversation about the differences of our countries, but no. It's just fucking America, lol. Cunt. They don't have much air conditioning. Calf. Because you're an actual human being and not a corporate fucking shill like Blaze It. How many homes have you lived in without air conditioning? I'm not Australian, Hunter. So when I say cunt, I mean it. many years i want a cigarette so fucking bad though dude i have had a dream like every night for what feels like forever where i bum a cigarette from somebody and damn do i want to fulfill that It's such a weird thing to dream of. Just bumming a cigarette. Like, hey, can I get a cigarette, man? It's the 5G they put in the ads in my brain. And beer. I've been thinking about getting into drinking too. I'm ready. 33. I think it's time for my uh, alcoholic phase, personally. It's only start waking up in random places like dude that's the most interesting uh advertisement to drinking i've ever had like that's intriguing i'm like hell yeah i was thinking the opposite like it, drinking would get old when you wake up at home alone on the floor in a puddle of your own piss now that makes drinking sound shitty but like waking up and not knowing where you are that sounds tight
you're an alcoholic and I wouldn't do well with it, fuck you. Piece of shit. You're not better than me. If you can handle it, so can I, cunt. That's it. I'm proving this idiot wrong. Got an alcoholism gatekeeper over here. I'm coming in. I love your kitty faces. Extra phone, it's the first mess message. <laughs> I like there was a first message. I feel like we either just got off on a really strong note together, or they'll hate me forever. Either way, you know, our relationship's evolving. That's good. I can't even see who it is, though, because their name is blue, so I'll never remember this moment we had. We shared about alcoholism. If I didn't give away that bottle of bourbon, I'd start drinking. I think there might be some, like, alcoholic eggnog in my fridge from Christmas, but it's probably gone bad. Maybe. Aged eggnog is a thing? Ugh. My mom used to, or married a dude who uh, drank fucking sour milk it was the most disgusting thing I'd ever watched a human being do and I've seen some fucked up shit and I don't mean just like a little bad I mean like chunky the kind of shit that when you pour it in the sink, you know you're going to have to fight back vomit. You just drink it down, dude. He's trying to know he liked it. He thought it was delicious. He, uh, like, when the milk would turn, and instead of my mom throwing it away, he would make us keep it so that he could wait a little bit longer to drink it. I don't want to play the machine. I had a stupid Pokeball in it. I sure he wasn't one of those bugs in a skin suit. Nope, just a redneck. A horrible human being. And those bugs like sugar water. So this is fucked up, but I'm going to say it anyway, because it, like, it brought me great joy. Um, dude, he's a piece of shit, uh, and he had uh, three other kids. But anyway, um, my mom was only married to him for a few years, but we all lived together for like a year. And I always thought his son was gay. Um, 
but you know, whatever. The point is, his dad's really sick and dying. My mom's ex-husband, he's really sick and dying. And he makes this like post on Facebook about how he's dying and like two days later his kid's like, I'm fucking, makes a big long post, I'm fucking gay. And I was like, dude, I hope he did that just so he had to see that before he fucking died. Cause I love it. I love it so much. Cause I know it would kill him. <laughs> And he's like 32 or something, you know, like he's he's not young. So it's a long time to wait, but it seemed perfectly timed to, oh, my dad's going to die. I better let him know this one. But he was a mean motherfucker. I get why he would have hit it. He used to beat the shit out of that kid in front of me. There's nothing in the will. It's a right. It's for, it ain't a goddamn thing. That man has nothing. All he's done is live off women his whole life. He fucking... This dude married his... I think it would be his great uncle's widow. Because everyone in the family was convinced his great uncle had a ton of money. And it was hidden in the walls. So he married his great uncle's widow after his great uncle died. And then had kids with her. <laughs> I mean, he's a real fucking. He was a real piece of shit. That's the thing here. Everyone's convinced that every hillbilly is a hard-working, blue-collar American who lines their walls with money. I don't know if that's a thing all around America, but it's a thing here, dude. Every old man you know that spent, like, his whole life fucking busting ass doing manual labor is secretly walls full of money. How is she still making kids? Because he was, like... She was only, like... 40 lacquer. He was like 20 when he hooked up with his great aunt. Or maybe it's just aunt. No, 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 yeah, it would just be aunt, not great aunt. I don't know, whatever. No, it wasn't his, yeah. It'd be his uncle's, it would have been his uncle. His uncle's wife that he married. That would just be his aunt, yeah, yeah, not great aunt. That makes more sense. Not really a thing around you. Oh, dude, we got like this old guy we called uh, Crazy Carl. He cuts trees for a living. There's no way the motherfucker has any money. He lives in a double wide. <laughs> There's no way he has any money. But every motherfucker that talks about him is like, dude, he's loaded. See him drive around in all those piece of shit cars, the way he lives. He's been cutting. He's 92 years old. He's still up there climbing trees and cutting them down because he's broke. Not because his walls are lined with cash. It's because he's fucking broke. Confusing family shit. Yeah, dude, his, uh, we used to joke that my mom's ex-husband was, uh, it was the family bush, not the family tree. It just grew in on itself. Got thicker, didn't grow out. It's a family hedge, yeah, it was bad. Is it maybe to keep the idea from the original monster? Uh, I think probably it's it. 
uh, yeah, I, I don't know that it's like some evil plan or anything like that, but more so people's assumption that that dude works so much he must have made some money by now. But the guy, I know the guy, he's been divorced like four times. He's, he's, and he's, he, he's an alcoholic, like he doesn't have any money. He just worked hard his whole life because what he did. A lot of those guys, in, it's just what, that's their life, it's what they live for. He legitimately is like 90 something years old and still climbs to trees to cut them down. He fell out of a tree in his 80s. I told Chad about this years ago when he cut down trees in my house. But he just fell out of a tree in his 80s and broke his back and then recovered and is still climbing and cutting down trees for a living. Crazy Carl. Probably money, money in the walls, man. I heard it about the dude who owned the local bait shop too. It was this old man, and his house burned down. So then everyone was convinced. Oh my God, dude! I bet hundreds of thousands of dollars. Like, do you all recognize the price of worms? Like, dude, there's no way the man selling worms. I don't care if he sold worms for 300 years. He just doesn't have hundreds of thousands of dollars in his walls. They're worms. At retail. In a town of 2,000 people. Sure, yeah, they do put money places that isn't, you know, keep cash around. And that was this guy with the bait shop was like every time someone would go in there and people that delivered like packages, COD or uh, propane and things like that, they'd be like, he'd, he'd be all over the house pulling cash out of here, pulling cash out of there. Yeah, because he's a creepy old dude who just fucking not like he nests his money. Like, yeah, that's a real habit that people have, but it doesn't mean their walls are full of cash. <laughs> just means dude doesn't take his money to the bank because he runs a cash business selling bait and every good cowboy knows you don't keep all your money in the same boot Yeah, even me, I've got cash in the spots. I was going to tell you where, but like, you already know I don't have my doors locked. That big old honker. Rain down. That's a bad big honker. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Did I get anything for 38 months in the fireproof gun safe? I don't think that gun safe is fireproof. I think it's far too small to be any kind of fireproof. I don't mean that kind of cash lagger. I always have a few hundred bucks laying around, dude, just like, you know, in case I need cash for something. If it's as simple as, like, splitting a food bill. Because I don't have Venmo. Oh, speaking of cash, my dad gave me uh, like a hundred. I think it's a hundred. Anyway, some of them, a stack of ones for Christmas that he thought was really funny. Ha ha ha. Uh, but they were all brand new ones from the bank. 
if you've ever dealt with brand new money, it like sticks together. So I get a text from a buddy and he's like, lady at the gas station said, uh, I handed her some money uh, that was all gross and, and nasty that I'd been given. And I was like, all right. And he's like, and she said, you keep giving her sticky ones. And I was like, oh my God, no man, not like that. They're not that kind of sticky. So I go in there today and I was gonna bring it up to her. I was like, it's just a weird thing to like bring up to a, a woman I don't really know. And then she's like, oh, there you are with your sticky ones again. And I'm like, can you not tell people I have sticky ones? And she's like, I can't believe, I didn't even think about it. And I was like, Jesus Christ. It's like, I've told so many people and I'm like, why is this coming up? I just think it's really funny. You carry around this stack of ones. And I'm like, well. About my sticky dollars. They're not sticky. They're new. They're crisp. I was at a gas station that I've never been to the other day. When after, f after or before fishing, pulled out my, I've been using the stack of ones trying to get through it. Pulled out my stack of ones. I'm like, sorry, it's ones. It was only like 11 bucks or whatever. Not a huge deal. And she's like, it's fine. At least they're in good shape. And I was like, yeah, since COVID, they won't let them shove them in my G string anymore. She just didn't respond. I thought it was funny, though. This was a different town. There's no way the news traveled that far. We were like, that was like 20 miles from home. That's too far. It is here. I, our towns are like really close together. It's just a whole bunch of small towns in a row. I think like on average we're only four or five miles apart. I say it's far because like my dad would not drive to the city, which is 20 miles away. He refused. That's too far. It's 20 miles. And that's the most people that are like, and most or of that generation. It's too far. Which, it's 20 miles with no traffic, so that takes like 17 minutes. Very far. The town over got a Walmart, though, so nobody has any reason to ever leave now. The only reason people left before was for, like, discounts at Meijer, which is a big grocery store. Here. Like, buy one, get one days at the, sto at the big grocery store in the city. But now everyone's got a Walmart, so nobody leaves. They're satisfied. The Walmart, yep. Like a uh, Facebook marketplace, that's where everybody meets. The Walmart. You know which one. It's the only town around here with one. Meet me at the Walmart? Mm hmm. Yet yeah, Walmarts here are not uh, dangerous. It's funny whenever I travel, everyone's like, I never go to Walmart, it's sketchy. And I'm like, it's the only places we go. 
Everything's at Walmart. So convenient. Wally's. Oh yeah, sometimes it's Wally World. The poor are sketchy to people, Lacker. Us people, we're intimidating. Northern Lion posted that someone tried to bum a cigarette from him while he was pushing his baby. And, like, I have been fucked up over that all day. Why would anyone look at Northern Lion, with or without a baby, and be like, that dude's got cigarettes? But if you throw in Northern Lion while shoving a baby around, like, last person on Earth, you would assume would have a cigarette. As a former cigarette bum, you gotta do a little judging before you just yeah, run around asking everybody. Did he though? No. Apparently the kid was like nine. I'm assuming that meant the, meant the kid was probably like 16, but uh, in Northern Lions tweet the kid was nine. <coughs> and I doubt he ID'd him. gonna roll it up so no one tries to mess with you and your baby that wasn't the moral of the story here the moral of the story was if you're gonna bum a cigarette from somebody make sure they look more like me and less like northern lion that was the moral but you know that's exactly it you say hey man can i buy a cigarette from you I actually had someone get really offended by that kettle. Uh, like, super offended. He ended up giving me a cigarette, though, so it was worth it, but, like... God, I'm trying to think of word for word how it went, but basically, the gist of it was, do I look like the kind of guy who can't afford to give away a cigarette? But no, I mean, that wasn't the case. But I do know now that he, if the dude's willing to just give away shit that someone's willing to buy, he's probably not that well off. He's clearly not very good at this capitalism thing. I was gonna pay him. Zombie, thanks for the prime sub. No, he's just mad at me for trying to buy it instead of just asking if I can have one. Because he thought I was insinuating that he looked poor. Did he look poor though? Hell no, dude. <laughs> he fucking had more money on in jewelry than I have in my bank account, for sure. Which isn't a huge claim, but I just got paid like not that long ago, so I haven't spent it all yet. I don't know, people are just weird, dude. People get offended by weird things.
I get offended when people compare eating and eating ass together. Because they're just two very different acts, and I don't like that the two <laughs> are ever shared. Like, that ain't food. You do, don't, they don't, don't, you, you don't do them the same. They're just, they're very different. Stop comparing my meal to your butthole. Please. Thank you. Where did this come from? Well, I was eating some chocolate pudding earlier, and I saw a tweet from somebody that was like, I'm eating dinner, but I'd rather be eating ass. And I was thinking... Well. <laughs> I don't think so. Rogue Tower? Is it any good? I saw Bauer was playing it, and I was like, I don't know if that game is new or... Uh... I, might, I just completely lost my train of thought and went back to my pudding and ass-eating thing I was talking about. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, anyway. Yeah, I didn't know if it was new or not. I was like... does have the between round upgrading I don't I don't I mean that's intolerable I wish that meta progression wasn't done in a way so my problem with meta progression is it's done in a way that you usually unlock so much of it and then the game's easy I just wish it wasn't done that way I don't feel like it should ever be the win condition And it feels like too often it is the win condition. It's tough. I like tough. I haven't done a lot of tower defense. I was just saying yesterday, I feel like it's a genre I like a lot, but never really play. Maybe I'll look at it. Does my daughter want? No, she's nine. Did you hear? I was just talking about eating ass. No, she's not allowed to watch this. But four more years, she can take over my stream forever, and then I can quit. Yeah, it's a tower defense. I like tower defense. I just never play it. Is the stream a family heirloom? I don't know that that's allowed. Um, I don't know the Twitch rules on that, but... I'd like to think I can pass it down in my will. There's plenty of like dual streams where one guy leaves. So maybe I just need to incorporate her for like a month. It's our stream and then I'll leave. Get around the rules. Yeah, I have, like, I just said, we talked about it yesterday. I said I figured, I bet Lacquer gave me this, or it was free. One of the two. That's my problem with tower defense games. Uh, is things like balloons. I just, <laughs> I watch Cobalt play it all the time, or used to, when he played it all the time. Uh, and it looks fun, don't get me wrong. I would enjoy it, but that's a, a look, you know? And isn't it called, like, Bloons TD6 or something? Why can't they just have a name like Bloons? Because it's the six 
Right. It's not just the six. It's balloons. T D six. Was there a balloons? Did they make a game first called balloons? Then make a second game called balloons T D. Then make a balloons T D two, three, four, five, and six. At some point, I feel like Bloons TD was more popular. This is the Russian Fishing 4. Bloons TD was more popular than Bloons. We could drop the TD. We could simplify things down here. I don't want my video game titles to be like explaining a graphics card to somebody. I got, yeah, you know, I'm playing the RTX 1080 G5. Because then I just, I'm confused. There's also just balloons two, balloons three, balloons four, and balloons five. It's just fucking Christ on a cracker. I like the name Rogue Tower. Good name. That's why I looked at it today when Bowery was playing it. I was like, I'm going to check that out. I don't even know what those flies do. <clears throat> Let's see if it shit. I mean, it's a tower defense game. I guess tower defense games can be shit. Cobalt and I played one that was pretty shit once. Oh, Rafiki. Thank you for the 93 months. How you been, bud? And it's not even a balloon. It's, it's a balloon. It could have been pirates. Does it have pirate stuff too? Is it a reference to both balloons and doubloons? Is that why they just went with balloons? Nope. Alright. Could have been though. That was an option. There is pirate. They're pi are they pirate? I thought they're just regular monkeys. What about them make some pirates? Oh, pirate ship. <laughs> that, that fucking makes some pirates for sure, dude. If you have a pirate ship, you 100% get to say you're a pirate. Even a skull and bones flag. I mean, cliche, but fair. monkeys i got nothing against them eh actually they're like my least favorite animal if i had the, an animal tier list god i should just do tier list we're gonna do that instead today animal tier list monkey would be like right near the bottom it's because they look and act so much like human beings though that it freaks me out that's the only reason. They should look less and act less like us. Thanks. Dear monkeys. Not a fan of horses? I go back and forth on horses. Growing up, horses loved them. Thought they were the coolest thing in the world. I was a kid. I wanted to be a cowboy. I had fucking cowboy boots and everything. Never been on a horse. But anyway, uh, then as I got older, I was going to go ride a horse. 
but I was like already a teenager and I was like, dude, this horse is really big and I hate it because it's scary. But then I watched like 11 seasons of the Canadian teen drama. I don't even remember what it's called. Horses. And I'm in love with horses again. But it's only because I haven't been up. As soon as I get close to one again, I'm going to hate him, I'm sure. It's too big. Heartland. Yeah, I watched like 11 seasons of the Canadian teen drama Heartland. So I'm back on horses. Team horse again. Your mom is super into it? Dude. I get it. Make up your mind. They're from a distance. They're amazing, beautiful creatures, and I want to be a cowboy. Should have learned to rope and ride. I think I actually. Oh no! I finally moved that. So say I have my holster hanging back there, but I don't. I wish mini horses weren't such assholes. I'd ride one of those. But I hear they're just bad pets. None of your pets will kill you, Lacker. You don't have a single, like murder snake or anything with the venom let's see if I ran him out or yeah there's probably far more injuries I mean, there's certainly far more, not probably, there's certainly far more injuries to, like, regular average house pets, right? Like, fucking dogs and horses and... <laughs> horses and a house pet, but you know what I'm getting at. Yeah, dogs are way up there. Wow, dogs are not a shit to your pet. That's bullshit. You're wrong. Dogs are a great pet. People are shitty pet owners. And uh, people are shitty pet owners is like the, the, the long and the short of it. Because I think even people that think they're good pet owners because they're like super loving, they're the ones that are like, my dog never bit nobody. Look at what I can do to him. And then they, like, fucking open the dog's mouth and stick their head in it like it's a crocodile. And then they get chomped. And I'm like, you're an idiot. Well, this isn't the dog's fault at all. I don't care how much money you spend on food and how often you take it to the vet. I don't do either of those things as much as I should. But, like, I don't put my dog in situations where it's going to accidentally fucking bite me. And then blame it. Are people like take their dogs fucking everywhere with them and then something bad happens? Like, I don't understand what happened. Like it's been such a good dog for so long. You continue to put your dog into situations that are challenging for it. And like eventually it fucked up. Well, yeah, what do you expect? percent angel chance and I got it which sucks because I'd already opened it right yeah <laughs> 
which is why it opened again. Fighting thing for the 85 months. But yeah, I love my dogs. I'm also aware that they, you know, at any time could decide they want to fucking bite me. And we have like a mutual respect over that. I don't try to put my dog into any situation that I think is going to get it to bite me or others. And uh, it doesn't bite me so far. That's just all pets. It's all animals. It's super easy to accidentally freak them out. It just is what it is. Lazy CF cats. <laughs> That's probably my favorite cat argument. Because it sounds fucked up. And I'm like, hell yeah, cats suck. Uh, <laughs> no, that's not true. They're la they do suck. But, like, don't be mean to your cats just because they suck. Oh yeah, I forgot I can't get soul hearts. I've been leaving those, but I can't even have them. Uh-oh. I just forgot. Wasn't paying attention. Sorry, we'll die real quick. Your cat's litter box automatically scoops the poop. My dogs shit in the exact same spot, always. And it's just my compost pile. By that I mean it's the fucking Republican state senator, or state representative. It's his yard. Whoa. In the corner of the lawn. Yeah, I might still... When I don't take my dogs out of my yard, they literally have, like, one spot they poop in. But when I do take them out of the yard, it's the same deal. They go down the road, we walk, and poop in front of the same dude's yard every time we walk by. They introduce him to his front door. No, I pooped... I, they let them poop right where he films all his like videos, his Facebook videos. He does it with like the vineyard in the back and the lake and stuff, and it looks all pretty and scenic. But there's there's dog poop under his feet because I put it there. It took me months, but we trained him. Makes it sound really exotic here and fancy. The vineyards and the lake. Oh. His family once owned this entire lake and has slowly sold it all off. Crazy, a rich boy who uh, made his way into politics. Yeah, pets in general suck for wildlife. But like, you know, whatever. So do we. 
And pets are just an extension of us. So I can't really blame the pets. It's truly a miracle that kiwis aren't extinct anyway. Like, those idiot birds got it coming, honestly. It is a miracle, yeah. Lucky there was other bigger, easier to eat birds, or they'd be extinct. Though we have more ground birds than a lot of people realize, too. Because, like, they're really good at hiding. That's their whole defense. I was hiding. Sorry, too much league in my life right now. This sucks. I'd rather be dead than doing this. Yeah, it ain't good. I haven't been trying very hard. Might check out that rogue tower. that room. Who knew? Gotta go to work? It's alright, I'm switching games, so now you can go. Oh, it's $14? Who do you, what do you think I made of money? Internet? All right. It's not early access. Weird. My wall, my walls are. Yes, yeah, all my insulation is just money. Which is why it's so cold in here. I haven't had to wear underwear in weeks. It's too cold. My balls are just sucked up in there anyway. Don't need the support. I could play lots of games. Yes, I'm aware that I could play a game. The point is I don't want to at all. <laughs> That's the part people fail to understand. I hope I bought the right game. This looks wrong now. Lacquered has it. Ah! Do 
dude's name is Assault Rifle Mason. I like it. Give me anxiety. Ah, that's better. Hmm. Oh no. Oh, fuck all that. That's. Wait a minute. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's actually a cute idea. What's happening? Uh, I'm preparing myself to game. I need to go get a drink out of my car, but it's six degrees outside. Did I change my title? Yeah. Arnold... <clears throat> Arnold Palmer Lemonade. Thank you for the five gift subarinos. I appreciate it. Enemies' hit points come in the form of health, armor, and shield. An enemy's shield must be depleted before they take damage to their armor, and their armor must be depleted before they take damage to their health. I didn't retain any of what I just read. Tower deals different amounts of damage. These shit. Fuck it, dude. I don't give a shit. Just I'm gonna get my drink. <laughs> What's the third hole? I didn't select a male, apparently. You guys can't see anything but Made with Unity, huh? It's a good game. A lot of piano in it. My third hole joke really just doesn't make a lot of sense when you can't see it. Anyway, what I was saying was cool was uh, the menu. It uh, moves like the gameplay, which is cute. That's all. I would say it. And then what's going to play? No, it's not screen capture. Some games just like game capture and some like window capture. Usually window capture just on games that are windowed, but God, I went out today dressed like this in just the tightest Can you s oh, I can't really see this <laughs> In like the tightest joggers and uh, Slippers with no socks and I just went out and about I got so many looks. I think I'm going to rock it more often. I liked it. Felt confident. Like sweatpant joggers. Also no underwear, so I was probably 
<laughs> ah, too cold to hang meat. I was hanging a thimble. Looking thick, wow, rude. I have gotten fat, thank you. Can you tell? Yeah, got a little. You dick shits. I thought this was an empty water bottle, but there's just a very clear ice cube in it, and that made it tippy. Talk about my legs. Oh. I swore it had spilled a tiny bit of water directly into the fans of my computer, but I'm sure that's fine. That's on the ground. Had to replace the case. Mine has a. Uh, I think that's just my graphics card. I don't know. Whatever's on the top of my case. My case has a vent and fans on the top. Which is just like a disaster for setting drinks on it. I like a case where you can set your pop right on top of it. Use it as a, a table. Should I just start with a single defense? That sounds too easy. I guess I'll start there. Towers elevated above the ground in case of flooding. Yeah, we don't fl flood. <gasps> Wait, P or escape to pause game? What's this thing? House. How much money? Oh, I see my money. House. Plus three? What's that mean? Is that its range? All ballistas deal plus one damage. All towers gain crit chance equal to their level, but lose one base damage. All ballistas deal plus one damage to health. Oh, shields. Fucking uh, crit chance. Equal to their level. Whatever that means. What was the blue box? I don't know. Crap. Can 
I destroy things? Ah, that's too much. It costs it is to demolish. Can I build during? Okay. That's a thing. He said blah. I think it is full release. Oh, they leveled. I'm so poor. Holy shit. After midnight. I must be missing something. This more crit chance? What? I guess so. It's a shit crit chance because they're low level. Oh, that's giving me more money now. That wasn't what I wanted to do. Should have upgraded him, maybe. Owie. That's fine. I wanted to take that damage. Oh, oh is that upgrade automatically? To, um, looks like it. Yeah, that's why the cost went down. Okay, I see. I mean, let's die now. I'm ready. Let's do it. A mine? How do I build a mine? All I have is a ballista button. The only button I have is ballista button. I'm ready to start over though. I feel like I've learned except how to do things, but I've learned some. He's going to save us. Oh, you can actually shoot from there? How cool. I thought one line would be lame, but I already love it.
left that guy like almost dead. We can't stop you now. You're not wrong. I did great. Frost Towers. Spoilers! Ahem. <coughs> <laughs> I was overwhelmed. Uh, all right. Blue upgrades get a permanent bonus, which you benefit from at the start of each game. Yellow upgrades can be drawn randomly during each game. Oh, okay. These are things you can draw randomly. Good randomly. Not that many upgrades. Well, I guess the random ones. How much experience do I have? Does it say somewhere? Look up. None of this seems to unlock anything. It's more just makes you better. Oh, these do have to be upgraded. Unlock though. Okay. commune with spirits from the adjacent graves and tax them? Hell yeah, dude. Tax the dead. Why only tax the living when you could tax the dead? So it could turn any direction. It doesn't matter. But we don't want to take the one damage we did last time. That's a nice turn start there. I mean, that's just going to be something better than a ballista, though. Can two do it? I mean, oh, I can build mines. I don't know how. Wait, is that a house there? How do I build a mine game? I thought I unlocked it. I guess I didn't.
to draw it. Generates mana through the magic of the magic market. Just makes sense. I'm not getting any house luck here. Shot from way over there. He's a hero. No, no, no. Oh, got him. One house, but yeah, it's in an awkward spot. should have built it there right away. It'll pay for itself eventually. Let's go this way. Oh, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I've made mistakes. We got this. It'll be fine. Take a little damage early. shooting. Kill it. Kill it. Yes. No. What is their base damage? 12? I don't think I'm ready for that. Let's keep slowing. Considered that I'm killing potential friends? Absolutely. Why do you think I'm building all these ballistas? Uh oh. Uh oh. Health is a resource. Shoot him again. One more. Mm, yeah, baby. He knew he had it. Never doubted it for a sec. Well, I got really unlucky with the houses compared to that one time that I had played before. Ow. 
I do like the game so far because I played for like eight minutes, so it's pretty easy to entertain me for that long. Killing it. They didn't even get close that time. I'm confident. Don't need to build no more ballistas. Save some money. Now if I run one of these other paths down, it'll reset the spawns a little. And they're killing waves, I think. You can upgrade it, but they... So all it's doing is upgrading, you're paying for levels instead of letting it level naturally. Like, uh, if you look at this one, 23 to upgrade, where this one's 3 because it's about to level. It'll probably level on its next kill, if it gets one. If it gets one, or even without killing. Building mine. I want the mortars too, but we need the mine. Repair and increase tower max health. That doesn't sound as exciting as I thought mines were going to be. Do I make any money from it? Hmm. Take the sure thing, eh? That's three more directions there, huh? What a fuck you that is. I wonder if this counts as adjacent. I doubt it. Richard, you're so good at tower defense games. Thanks, chat. This feels pretty blessed, honestly. This section here is crazy. It's fucking jamming, I'll tell you what. What's that cool guy? <laughs> Look at him rocking. That battering rams are rocking. There, I think for the hundred bits. Whoa! I'm getting sick. I hate it. Those fucking ballista things are mega healthy, and we're in trouble. I think. Shoot its ass. Shoot it. Shoot them harder. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's fine. We saved our health for a reason. I 
won't be able to afford them. But I want to see it before I die. I can afford one. I'm afraid it won't be able to shoot close. It's slow. Awkward. It didn't even hit anything, did it? I mean, like, barely? It's leading? Just said ballistas, didn't it? Towers. Okay. Give money, though. Oh, I'm five bucks short of give money. Oogie? I just want the money. Oh, it's, I'll end up dead before I get my profits, but I want my money. You might not, that's why I didn't build it there earlier. Did all those dudes just pop out of that like a Trojan horse? Yeah, I wasn't paying attention to that. That's pretty cute. Eat shit, Oogie. Three O's. So you really know. Ooh. 
attacks the dead. Use mana to electrify nearby enemies. Generate mana through the magic of the magic market. I guess I have to take this so that I can eventually use this. I'm assuming. It's expensive. Looks like it doesn't give gold. No, it definitely do. It's based on the level of the tower. <gasps> Can tax the dead, damn it. He dropped chat. What? Oh. Now I get sorcery, which would have been tight a second ago. Tax the fucking dead, y'all. Just says rip. Do I need one by each gravestone? I don't actually know how it works. Here by graves one. Probably shouldn't mortar our tower. Uh oh. That's gonna put us to one. Perfect amount of health. Probably. Is that a cow? Oh no. This is two dudes. Another chest? Oh. Taxing the hell out of the dead. Attack the haunted house taxi, you dead. Ah, they're fast. Yeah, it takes all the money out of the walls of their, the houses they lived in before they died. We 
could go ahead and kill those guys before they get here. They're so resilient. Oh no! <laughs> he killed it! I can't build anything. I could upgrade, but I got faith. Oh, beautiful. Is there an option for... There isn't... I was wondering if there's an option for, like, groups. We definitely die here. The problem with most health is, uh, like this doesn't have the most health, right, because it has big shield. All these have very little health. I think, I don't know that it's counting the whole bar, like this guy has a ton of health. Yeah, but you're not going to be able to cover all areas solid, so it feels pretty RNG either way. Unless there's like a specific thing you know you want them to focus on, a specific enemy type. The thing is I don't know yet. I don't even know which one's armor and which one's shield. Shield, I think. Armor. That would be my guess. Taxing is that is a useful upgrade. Fuck you. Yeah, slope, as expected, is quite strong. I just kind of want to take the damn range. It's also mana bolts. I have all these ballistas. It's like it's gonna be so long before I can afford to invest in those. Let's try mana bolts. I guess I'm gonna burn up all my mana. I'm afraid they won't fire without mana, but let's hope that's not the case. Yeah, I'm gonna burn all my mana away immediately, and then they won't fire without mana. Yep, that's what I figured. But now I know. I figured that would be the case. Oh, that seems really good. So you have to unlock 27 more first. Oh, I have a lot of experience now, though. Do 
these count towards the progress of that? Six more? Yeah, these are cheap. Every level there is a between 0 and 30% tower repairs damage. Okay. Oh, these are interesting. These are cards though, aren't they? have houses. Awkward ass spot for them. Interesting, I can get it really early. I assumed it took mana. cost me money too. This is an awkward map, huh? Until you know what direction it's gonna swing around, it feels bad to invest too heavy. Multiplier. I mean, they're just pretty weak early, eh? Boy, it's just a big straight line, huh? The straight line is fucking devastating. I think 
think I'm dead. It's alright, I got to test uh, Tesla coils. They're doing it. Test La Coil. Learned a lot that run. Tesla coils need levels. Or slow. It'll be better when there's a lot more units stacking up. I mean, this is just an instantly a uh, far superior start. I wonder if it's just worth it to try to get those leveled to make money. Probably is. Can they even reach from there? Should be able to. I guess I'll just take heavy shafts. Uh, no, I'll get this now. That's fine. Wow, look how much friendlier this fucking map is. Jason, see the house says it gives money. But it takes a while to pay for itself, so. And it's based on the level they are, so I'm trying to. get those ones leveled up first. This was an easy ass wave. The fuck? Why was that so easy? I don't know that the coils get range from height. I didn't try it. It says plus three. So maybe. Thing. Place a mana siphon near it to suck it. Oh, you need to reach from back there. You can! The last second. Keep it simple. I don't even know if this will hit from here. I want to try it, but I, I guess I'll just try it, huh? Oh, it do.
doesn't quite read time. Holy shit, they fucking murdered though. Play your own game. How about that, Ninjaku? And just let me play. Crazy concept. Then you can do what you want. can stop you though, that's the thing. I'm sorry to be the one to break it to you. That would be close to me. Didn't get any damn levels back here. I still like range. But I probably should just go all in on Tesla coils. Good murders, good murders. Uh-oh, this guy might be right. Oh! <laughs> Get fucked, idiot. There's no way to get them to target this side first, huh? Uh-oh. Oh, I can't afford that. Least progress? Is that a thing?
Ah, a lot of lads. They're dabby lads, though. This is gonna sting. You're gonna let out five, so I take extra damage. Thank you. Yep, they did it. They did exactly that. Yeah, I would have guessed it took extra too. Wave seems easy. I guess there's a lot of those big old towers, or whatever they are. Fuck, lads. Can you shoot up there? Fuck buses. Bussies. E bussies. Not even close. I just wanted this one in the back to get a little level for his house gold. No. No house gold level for you. that on level. I could have swore it said that at some point. But maybe it did mean this level. Also a level. Also a level. Money uh, attacks the dead.
sir. 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 Teslas are weird. Yeah, they do like a bit, but uh, expensive. Nine more cards, nine more cards. Yeah, area of effect. Oh my god, so many houses. Equal to the current level. So, I mean, that c I could definitely see that being based on what's adjacent, but you're probably correct. It's probably... I mean, maximize the amount of money you're gonna get from them. It's fine. <sighs> yeah, wave and not level. Oh my god, it's shooting around the corner. Love that for us. Yeah, range. Look at this pathing. Amazing. Amazing. It's gonna go right behind my house. Shoot him from my backyard. Oh my god. I guess we can check diagonal just to be sure. No. <coughs> this says adjacent. I don't ever consider diagonal adjacent personally. Man, I really like this slow. Mortars are pretty tight, too. I'm taking this slow. Yeah, it's a stack and slow. Or the buff is stacking, one or the other. One more range. 
I'm a land baron. Yeah, I think it's based on this level, though. Because it seems to just go up every round. It is confusing because they both level. Should probably just take that, but I just want to get to new things someday. Should have just put it up here. Actually. Uh oh. Not as bad as I expected. Some more slowing before they get there. Or while they're there. I don't know what's giving me more trouble, but... Shit, I was texting!
I don't know, I didn't read. One of them shield, one of them's armor. I'll be able to load this up sooner or later. I want to go this way now. Yeah, well. I think they're different, right? These all look like the same. I think there's two different bars. Maybe not. obviously health. I thought there was another color, like a bluish color. Maybe I'm wrong. Blue below is a slow. I thought there was actually another bubble color, like a color on the health one. Third color. But I could be wrong. Oh, gray. No? Maybe that gray above them is an armor? Yeah. Really no? We're going with it. Nice house spot. If I want to know, I'll look it up. Like any. I'm just saying there, I thought there was three options, and there is. Yeah, see this one? See this one has like a, a gray bar. Uh, oh no, that's just a, I don't know, I'm colorblind. Maybe that's just a stacking mob. I thought that was an armor bar. Or shield, whichever one is which. Slow Doogie is. You're never unslowing, friend. It might just be the timer. I don't think he's actually getting slower. I'm not sure though. Just the length will stay slow. Uh, sight and mana from crystals. I guess we'll take that one. I only got one treasure chest this time. I've been robbed. I'm just curious how much it be siphoning. One. Okay. I wonder if a Tesla coil for it would hit from there. What's this one plus? I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't look like the price goes up, which is nice. 
Oh, I'm poor anyway. Some dead folks we can tax. Yeah, there is another color. I'm not crazy. say gray but my color opinions are often believed to be wrong And ballistas be getting expensive, yo. That looks pretty bad. Sometimes you die. Damn, I feel like that was a pretty good map, too. Uh, I do got a dip, though. That's a fun game. I'll definitely play more of that. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, but my buddy woke up early and wants to go ice fishing. So uh, I'm going to go freeze my buns off. It's nine degrees, chat. Just kill me now. We have a shanty and a, a buddy heater, but you got to get out there and set up it's nine degrees oh why am i doing this to myself 
And I forgot to do my damn laundry. Uh oh. It's alright. I'll be hidden. Nobody will know that I'm wearing three pairs of pajama pants and six t shirts underneath my snow gear. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, I might jump on early because I like this. It's fun. Have a good night. Thank you for being here. Subs and stuff. Much appreciated.